Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to focus on the most commonly used functions. We will focus on voltage, DC voltage and AC voltage. For example, this multimeter can measure DC voltage here, AC voltage here, can also check continuity and operation of a diode current can measure AC amps and DC current also capacitance of a capacitor can be checked and if you are using transistors current gain of a transistor can be measured on this HFE function can measure resistance here are the different ranges of measurement this one is a ground terminal call it common for all of the measurements if we are measuring resistance voltage and continuity the positive will be here and these two are used for current measurement for example if you are measuring a maximum of 2 ampere current the positive will be placed here but if it is more than 2 amperes as you can see the fuse will blow up fused this one is used for 10 amps so positive will be here now let's measure for example voltage of this dryer we know it is 1.5 volt so on this DC voltage range this DC voltage on this DC voltage range always go for a voltage that is higher than this value one step higher this is 1.5 one step higher is this is one step higher one point six one one this means this battery is fully charged but as you can see we are reading minus one point six which indicates that the polarity of this is reversed so when you reverse the polarity we'll find this reading now we are measuring this so the range has to be a little greater. I will select 20. Next, let's measure AC voltage. When measuring AC voltage, we bring the multimeter select dial to voltage with a quickly line here. And because our socket outlet, for example, here is, we know it is 220. So I'll go for one step higher, which is 750. Let's measure. Polarity doesn't really matter when it comes to AC voltage. Make sure the terminals are good so you don't get electric shock. 220. Next, let's see how to find continuity. This continuity, the continuity part, this continuity part will help us to determine if there is disconnection in an electrical circuit or not. It will give a sound. For example, when it is connected like this, it means the line is continuous. For example, if I wanted to see if this line is continuous or not, if it has electrical continuity, all we have to do is bring one probe here and then connect the other here. This indicates that this line is continuous. If there is some discontinuity, if there is a break, if this is cut, for example, there is no beeping sound. 
The continuity can also be used to check if there is continuity, for example, on this commutator segment, if there are continuity between members and if it has continuity with the ground. We can check. So like so, each continuity can be checked. You can also check if it has continuity with the ground or not. It is also useful to test diodes. Diodes, they will have continuity in one direction and this should provide no continuity in the other direction. So this diode is good. So diodes can be checked. They should be con con conducting in one direction only. When I reverse the polarity, see, there is no conduction. So this is diode test. Okay, Let's check uh, operation of this diode. Can be checked by the continuity. This is dead. Damaged. This shows that it is damaged. Let's see this one. Put it on diode. Continuity is there. So this diode is functional. Good. See, it has continuity. When positive of the multimeter is connected to the positive of the diode end, we have continuity. When polarity is reversed, there is no continuity. This confirms that this diode is also function. The other one is resistance measurement. Resistance measurement can also be used to check if the line is continuous or not. For example, in this rotor, we have winding. We have a winding that is wound in here, and you see the two terminals are here. One goes to one slip ring, the other goes to the other slip ring. Well, let's check, for example, if this winding is continuous or not. From experience, we know that this type of rotors, they have resistance value less than 200, so I'll make it to 200 ohms, and then let's check. Four point five. Can also check if it has continuity with the ground. If I wanted to see if this resistor is functional or not, I can use the resistance mode. Two hundred range. Let's measure this. Eleven point two. Eleven point one. These resistors are usually eleven ohm. Eleven ohm it says here. Specification says eleven ohm. So this is good. So if you don't know the resistance value, always begin by the maximum one. For example, if I don't know the resistance value of this primary winding of this ignition coil, I can begin from twenty megabit. Twenty mega ohm. Let's begin from 20 mega ohm. See, it has continuity, but the value is not described. So, it has continuity, but the value is not clear. 2 mega ohm, not clear. 200,000, 200k, 20k, 2k. Now we are getting something. Still, it's not. Now we have the resistance value which is 3.3 ohms and let's measure the secondary winding begin from 200k because that does not hurt the multimeter but please make sure when you are measuring resistance always make sure that power is not there let's put it here and let's measure with this see on 200 no reading 2k no reading on 20k we have 
which means the resistance of the secondary winding is 10,570 ohm. If you go higher, reading will be 10,000. See, the accuracy of the reading goes down. As you, as you increase the range, the accuracy of the reading goes down. So that's why we have range. Range will provide more accurate reading. Let's see resistance value of this spark plug wire. Let's begin from 200. See if it reads. No reading on the 200 range. No reading. Now we have reading, which means the resistance of this spark plug wire is 8,000. 8370 ohm now we are going to see current measurement if you don't know the current value always select the maximum current value we are going to measure dc current 10 ohms and like we have discussed previously the positive probe should be removed from this post it should be put on the 10 ampere terminal here and ammeter unlike voltmeter it is connected in series to the circuit terminal of the multimeter and this is going to be supplied to the plus so this is how current flows current flows from the positive from the positive through the multimeter via the ground cable to the bulb and finally to the ground let's see how many current it draws one point seven five amps Whenever you are planning to use a multimeter, please know that we have to remember some safety tips. For example, do not use a, a multimeter where the test leads are not safe. Do not use your test leads if the protective insulation on the leads or the probe is cracked or damaged, especially when measuring voltage, that could be very dangerous. And make sure that the connection is well tight and not loose. When measuring especially voltage and uh, currents please note that both dc and ac voltage can be very dangerous depending on their magnitude shock may result in from misuse of multimeters and electric spark electric arc may result in depending on how good the connection is made thank you for staying tuned and for watching our video please stay tuned for more videos of this kind Hope to see you next time.